Bolts Nation, we have a massive update in the Jonathan Taylor update. Just minutes ago, I was notified that the Colts have given running back Jonathan Taylor permission to seek a trade. This comes from Adam Scheffner at ESPN. And this is basically, this is what we've been hearing. So it's not so much of a change from what we've been hearing, but it's notable that they have given him permission to seek a trade. And now we wait. Now we wait to see what happens, right? Jonathan Taylor probably not going to be on this team. I think that means Kenyon Drake probably going to be on this team. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now, like, I mean, what should we get for Jonathan Taylor? I want to know your opinion. What do you think we should get in return for Jonathan Taylor? Who do you think is going to go trade for Jonathan Taylor? Do you think anybody will? You know, in my opinion, I think – a guy like Jonathan Taylor, you have to get at least one first round pick. Like it doesn't matter if they're going to be giving him the contract or not. Like sign and trade, it doesn't matter. You have to get a first round pick for Jonathan Taylor. You can't give up high end talent like that for nothing, right? From a business standpoint, Jim R. saying Chris Bowd, like you own his rights. You can just sit on that and force him to deal with with the contract that he signed, like he said he would back in April or May, whatever it was. Like. We're at a point now he's just going to have to deal with it if he doesn't get traded. And if he doesn't get traded, what happens? Is he going to play for the Colts? It doesn't seem like at this point that that's going to happen. He was supposed to be back with the team this week and rejoining the team. He was supposed to travel with the team this week. I assume none of that's going to happen. I assume we're not going to see Jonathan Taylor playing for the Colts again, which is unfortunate, but that's the, the lay of the land. Like the – the, the teams that win the Super Bowl don't have $15, $16 million running backs. They just don't. So it's unfortunate we don't get to see JT play in a Colts uniform again, but it's it's going to be nice to finally move on from this situation. I think I speak for all the Colts fans when I say that, like whether he was playing for us or not. Whenever the resolution happens for this, we'll all be happy and Honestly, I'm happy either way it goes. If JT's playing for us, that's great. If he's not, whatever, dude, go. Like, if you don't want to be here, leave. That's the way I feel about it. And, again, I think we should get at least one first-rounder. Um, if you're going to get a first-rounder, maybe you get a, a third or a fourth in there. Maybe you even throw in a player. Maybe it's Jonathan Taylor for a player and a later-round pick. That would be fine, too. Um, whatever, whatever it is, you know, whatever you have in mind, you let me know down in the comments section. And if whenever anything happens more with this situation, I'll try to keep you guys updated as quickly as I possibly can. So with that said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.